2.2, this one is explain the effect of location characteristics on retail businesses in different locations. Today's lesson is an introduction and this is lesson 16. And when you see Susan, the cheesy little game show host, click for help. Welcome to the learning steps for this lesson. First of all, we're looking at the knowledge about understanding how important retail location is. Then we're going to build up to consider key factors when choosing a retail lo location. And then finally, we're, we're going to be, look into the application of this knowledge, being able to explain key factors relevant to some retailers and not to others. The key vocabulary for this lesson is accessibility. So we're talking about um, facilities, uh, ramps and toilets and all these things that retailers put on for all customers. Infrastructure, we're talking about how you get to um, uh, the retail outlet, be it train, bus, as a car park, main road, so forth. Footfall we've come across before, which is the number of customers who walk past or walk through the, uh, the retail outlet. And physical stores, because we're talking location, so we do actually mean physical stores. You know what you have completed this lesson successfully when you can state some of the factors retailers need to consider when locating their business. You can describe how some location factors only affect some retailers and you can explain how and why certain retailers have made their location choices. Basically some case studies. The careers are retail specific as always. We've got an advertising account planner, advertising media buyer and an airline customer service agent as a focus for this time. The work list for locations introduction lesson 16. You've got four tasks. First one is retailer locations. Second one is Jacob and Haddleton on the make. Yes, that's a made up town based on something not too far from your school. Task three, an Aldi case study. And then task four, location, location, location. Like the TV programme says, if it still exists, we're going to look into the factors where, which some retailers consider before they make their location decision. So to start off with, location of physical stores. So if we're talking of physical stores, we definitely don't want this one. Yep, online goes. We can't also have multi-channel or hybrid because we're looking at only physical location, so it's only one store we're looking at, and franchise because that's a particular type of business. So they also need to go. So that leaves us with a physical store, a concession, a pop-up and a market store, store. So those are the physical stores we're going to consider for this part of the lesson. So let's begin. Now we know what type of stores we're talking about. The location of a physical retail shop, a store outlet, a market store pop-up or unmanned concession, the ones we've highlighted below, is one of the most important decisions its owners will have to decide. Selecting the right location can boost sales. Selecting the wrong location can make the business fail. When retail businesses are set up, it is very important that they are located in a place which is best for them, i.e. where they can keep costs at the lowest, have high footfall and take in the most money, and therefore make the greatest profit. There is not one ideal location for every retail business. The best location will depend on what the retail business sells. So as you remember, we're not looking at uh, online, we're not looking at multi-channel or hybrid or a franchise. For locations of retail, we are definitely looking at a physical store, we're definitely looking at uh, concessions, pop-ups and market stalls. Retailer locations. Consider the retail businesses listed below in the table. For each business, describe the best type of location needed to achieve as many sales as possible. So you've got five types of retail businesses. The first one is IKEA Superstore. Think about where they are and describe what, where they're near, what they're next to, what they've got in front of them. Describe all these things about where these places are. If you're not sure, then obviously you can go to Google Maps to uh, double check. Number two, a LucasAid sport vending machine. Think about where they might be. Think about why they're there and then think about sort of why they're a vending machine, which is basically another word for one of those uh, types of outlets in the uh, icons below. Number three, a local convenience store. So obviously there's one down the road, a local, local spa. Think about why they're there. What is it that they're near? What are they, what do they, 
what why how do they serve the community that's probably the better question to ask to get to have a description of why they've chosen that location the pandora jewelry store obviously we're thinking the one in town think about why they're on that particular square of the town center and number five a yankee candle unmanned concession so those are those concessions where they've got no staff on them um, why is it that those um those products are sold there obviously if you're not sure what that one is you might need to go and do a bit of uh, googling and double check what they are so have a look and write your descriptions in the right hand column on the table where to locate this depends on who and what you are for small scale and independent retail businesses the owners will normally locate themselves in the area in which they live however within that area the owners will want to select the ideal site for their retail business here's your task Jacob lives in Haddleton on the Make. Yep, that's the one on the left. On the Brooklyn Estate, if you look at that, that is where the pink circle is at the beginning. He wants to open a new cycle shop selling bikes to adults and children. You need to complete the table below based on Jacob and his new cycle shop. So question one, where is he likely to locate his new shop? So you need to look for the yellow and blue empty retail outlets. They're the ones with the numbers. So let's explore a few. Does Jacob locate his business in that row of outlets near his Brooklyn estate where he lives? Or does he locate himself on Roycroft Retail Park over there on the left um, where there's other retailers? Then again, he could locate himself um, near, the, say, the, the Tesco retail park, as we can call it there, which is not far from the Hornsby train station. So he could go there instead. There's another choice if he puts himself near the where people go out to socialise, the steakhouse, pasta place, nightclub, near the cinema. Um, yes, it's near the motorway, but he is next to the places where people go out. Or he could put himself out there on his own where he's away from all the competition away but not far from the forest of hignet but it's by the motorway as you would expect there's another one to consider it's out there on its own away from the competition again near a um uh, a store there and that is on the roberts road but it's near the forest as well and another one just to highlight he could put himself in the good place which is around that park area where there's two outlets and there's a forest right around it and it's not far from where he lives too. So they're not the only places to consider but those are some highlighted ones for you to make your decision. What you need to do now is in the uh, table on the right you need to write down where you're going to locate him so you can write the number in the first box and underneath you need to write your reason. What is it that that location offers Jacob which is good for his business and possibly where he lives too? Large scale stores, here's your next task. Large scale national and global retail businesses can now locate numerous outlets all over the world and will consider a number of key factors along with their business aims and objectives to decide where they locate their stores. Here we're going to look at Aldi. Question one, Aldi has over 10,000 stores in over 20 countries and nearly 800 stores in the UK. Aldi is planning to open another 25 stores in the UK. What factors will Aldi consider before deciding on selecting 25 new sites? So what you need to do is possibly find some Aldi locations, look at where they are, look at which ones are the newest ones. And if you look at where the newest ones have been built, then then look, investigate what's around them. And, and then you can compare what Aldi have to offer and what Aldi have to offer the community that they serve. And that should help you with the answer for question one. Question two, explain why selecting the right location is so important for a retail business. Now here, this is where the, it seems you have remembered and, re, and recalled some of the discussion that's happened so far in the lesson, pretty, pretty much slide five, talking about what the location can mean to a particular retailer, what it actually has to offer them. Now the phrase I keep using is how does it serve the community? So that's about how it helps get customers to go there, but it's also what the community has to offer the retailer to actually help it be attractive to customers. So it's, it's a two way situation between the community and the retailer that you need to capture for your answer for the question two. Let's see what Haddleton on the Make has got to offer. 
When a retailer is looking at different locations for possible new sites, it will consider these points below A to G. A. The market. Being close to potential customers can be vital. B. The cost of the land. This can be to buy or rent. C. The size of the site. Is it suitable for the retailer to display and sell its products? D. Footfall. Is the site busy or quiet? Is it a high street or a side street? E. Infrastructure. Retailers need a number of supporting facilities, such as good transportation links for deliveries and good waste disposal. F. Accessibility for customers. Is it easy to get to, good parking facilities or public transport? And G. Competitors. Being near to other retailers who sell the same products can sometimes be a good idea, it increases footfall, but also many retailers will not want to locate too close to competitors. Here's your task. We've gone over a few things to consider when we were looking at Jacob and his cycle uh, store. Now it's your time to actually look at a town, look at what it has to offer and actually turn that around as if you were the council advising retailers moving in. So let's have a look at what we, we need to answer. Question one, most customers can be found where? So if you look at where the um, all the housing estates are and you look at where the retail outlets are, that's the yellow or the blue ones, then you need to make a decision on where you th think most customers will be. And then you put the location number in the box on the right. Question two, the most expensive location to buy or rent is where? So you can make that decision on where you think the most expensive is and then you put the location number in the right. Question three, which retail outlet will offer the most space for a retailer? So that's where they want to, sort of large areas for display. And question four, which location has a steady footfall? So you've got two questions there where you write the numbers in on the right. Question five, which location has the best infrastructure? Now remember that was picked up and described in the last slide. And infrastructure is looking at transportation links or maybe links for uh, wastage, for um, um, waste products, or if depending on whether they're manufacturing those things. So this is where you need to consider that part and the numbers go in on the right. Question seven, this is two part. 7a which location might hold the most competitors so again have a look where the most competitors are and then you put the number on the right 7b why might being near competitors be a good thing and you write your explanation in the box on the right so that was touched on in the last slide so this is about you reviewing it in terms of a town and which one do you think would be um, the right reason on what competitors could offer a retailer and you write the answer on the right Well done, you have completed the work list on locations introduction for lesson 16. This is the first part of 2.2. You have completed all four tasks. Well done.